Again. I probably shouldn't have came out. I have an idea. This might not work. No, I think he's actually upstairs. Son of a bitch. No, Emily. Yeah, they're dead. That's tough. Come on. Negative. Completely disregard the things on this side here. <laughs> I mean, I'm down. I'm down. Shit. No. Oh, okay, he saw me. Okay. Not good. Not good. There's the, uh, the bedroom down here. Oh, there's Gary! Or is that Cliff? That's Gary. He's dead. Jackie, hi! Thank you for the happy affiliate anniversary. I appreciate that. Oh, and it was your birthday? Well, happy birthday, Jackie! I think he's... He's right behind me! Holy! Oh, son of a bitch. This is tough, man. This is tough. I don't think there's a way that I'm going to solve this if I'm being honest with you. I think we wipe and start over, man. I got to get that solved. Well, because I actually made it out the front door earlier. I solved the other side and it opened up the front door lock. But it was like, that's not enough. So at that point, I look at Gary and say, that makes two of us. And Gary clearly wants to back down, but I don't want to back down. And we started that guy uh, and we stared that guy down until he backed off. You intimidated him? Nah, he never wanted to fight. It turns out he was joking. Huh. So, that happened at the roadhouse, huh? Yup. Huh. I haven't been to the roadhouse since we were all together there. The first time that we watched the Perseids. That must have been like, what, three years ago? Yup. Glad you had occasion to grace us with your presence again. Well, my grandma died very conveniently. Holy moly. <laughs> Turns out he was jerking, huh? <laughs> You wouldn't have come otherwise? <laughs> and I thought Pete was the flaky one. I've been busy. So relax. We're supposed to be having fun here. We'll drink out of dirty glasses and watch some falling space garbage and it'll be great. But isn't the bar just outside of town? Where are we going? We're going to the site where I've been working. Why? And why are you telling me this now? We're going to get to the bar way after everybody else. I told the others a later start time. Wanted to make sure I didn't have to pick up my last check alone. Your last check? Last time we talked, it seemed like you were crazy about your job. <laughs> last time we talked was like 14 months ago. My mom owed me some money. It's fine. <sighs> okay. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, why not why not jerk and make jerky? Exactly. Wait, didn't we just pass the riverside exit? Isn't that where you said the site was? Do you know what day it is, Emily? August 13th? Friday the 13th. Ooh, so what? 
You're, uh, ghosty? I missed a possum check, thank you. Oh, no, it just came up. It only says this minute. It says not right now. Or it doesn't say not right now. I got you, I got you. Is So what, you're superstitious now? Wait. Are you afraid to go back there? Nobody sticks around those types of jobs long. You either work a decade, tear your body up, or you quit before you're in too deep. Uh-huh. Buddy of mine, Martin, kind of an older guy, wife, two kids, he's spotting another guy, Brian, and he's bringing up a, he's bringing in a dump truck full of gravel laying foundation. The truck hits a bundle of rebar, the scaffold collapses, Martin falls into the pit, and the truck tips behind him. Just enough to dump all the gravel on top of him. He's chest deep in gravel now, but his arms are free. He's responsive, feeling okay. Miracle. But it turns out, I mean, that's 18 tons of gravel in there with him, right? All that weight, it's pushed all the oxygen and his blood up into his brain. Below the waist, he's crushed. He's just one big bruise. When they pull him out of there, all the blood's going to race to his legs. And he's going to go to a shock and his brain's going to die. Yeah. So this is it. They're bringing his family in, explaining the situation. They hug him, say goodbye. And then they winch him out and he's gone. Jesus. They really pulled him out like that? You don't believe me? No, I believe you. It's just... It happened! It happened to somebody I know, Emily. And it's gonna happen to me. Either I live hard and die young like Martin, or I become a lumpy old asshole like my dad. Yeah, he's trauma dumping on us. Oh, man. Eyes on the road! Uh-oh. Holy moly. I've seen you die so many times. I have. Sorry, Cliff. <laughs> Don't mention it. I'm sorry, too. Wait, where are we? How long have we been driving for? There, I don't know if I'm seeing things, but there was a speck in the back. <sighs> All right, we know 110. The desk note led us to page 110. Page 110 of... There's no way, dude. It's either this or it's in Dracula. I don't know, dude. There's no way. No way. No way, dude. What do these colors mean? It's for the lock in the basement. So blue, red, red, yellow. Okay, I have that in here anyway, so. Sweet. We just got to wait for the lightning to hit again. Hey, Gary. Hey, Em. Does the wood of this place kind of give you the heebie-jeebies? Huh? Like the color? No, I mean the wood itself. It feels hollow, brittle, a little soft. Who said that earlier? It might be termites. He said that to me too, but like... Damn, it feels worse than that. Like, if I stand for too long, I feel like I'm going to start to sink into the floor. You, Tell me about it. Alright, bye, Gary. I wonder if I just stand still if I'm actually going to fall through the floor. <clears throat> Alright, so we can't get in the basement until... What the fuck was that? Um... That was not a cat, brother. <laughs> that was definitely not a cat. That was definitely not a deer, Bob. Dude, I really, really, really enjoying this game. Oh, man. Nice. 
1974. It's happening last Tuesday. The group of young men and women run a gamut of creative and professional aspirations. A writer here, a hyper-realistic painter here. An industrial engineer turned performance artist beside. The latter would be Clara Jones, whose reputation rapidly rose through the past years as holder of revivalist happenings of the highest order. Her work dazzling and frustrating poets and academics alike. Check the closet? Which one? Yeah, yeah, Emily is aware that we're being murdered, yes. Just last week, the group to which Jones belonged gathered in a, uh, a disused steel plant beneath a meteor shower to take in her latest work orchestrated with her creative partner, Parker Nest. 74. It has to be 74, then. Check the closet. I ain't in there anymore. We love we love our bi queen, honestly. <clears throat> I don't think there's anything in the closet, buddy. I can look out this window, can't I? I can. What this window? No, just this one. I just gotta figure out that goddamn fucking power puzzle. Ten thirty. Maybe if I look at the clock at ten thirty, it'll do something because it's stuck on ten thirty. But uh, <clears throat> this the code is not ten thirty for this. We tried that. <clears throat> Let's try 74. No, huh? Tough. Oh, man. Can't get back in the basement right now. Excuse me, Gary. If we look out the window, we can see the lightning. And then I gotta fucking book it downstairs and try to figure this out. Well, we have the, the colored lock combination, so. And it's Deanna trying to mess with me. It's blue, red, red, yellow, and I gotta just figure out how to get that. <clears throat> comes. Ooh. A spooky. No, stop, Deanna. It's, it's, I have it on the photo. You can't mess with me. Was there a, a date on this? 
There's not. Blue, red, red, yellow. Shit. <laughs> you gotta get that other one down to yellow. Okay. There it is! 278, that's the keypad upstairs, okay. Into the cellar, yeah. I'll be able to get down here before the power goes out, that's very good. There's a note here, an invoice from the delivery of two industrial grade Galneron generators to the house, attaches a handwritten note. Parker, I thought your accumulator was an acoustic device. Why are we suddenly looking to generate more power than we could use in a year? Clara. The schematic? Okay, that's the same thing. A pamphlet. Radon. The silent killer. Wait, what else was on this? Huh. Okay, well, now I can come down here before the power goes out, which is really good. And I feel like this, talking about how the, the oil is the blood or whatever, the house is the body, home body? Uh, I need to get rid of these four. I need to drain those four things. Wait, let's look at the clock at 10.30. Or is this indicating when the homunculus comes out? Quite a lot. <laughs> Quite a lot. Maybe this is indicating when the homunculus comes out. It's 10.30. I'm disappointed nothing happened. Alright, let me cook. Negative to negative. That's positive. I'm a bozo. <laughs> oh, boy. Positive to positive. How am I so ass at this? Negative. Okay, now let me not screw it up. Shit, that's not it. It's not possible. Why isn't it possible? Stupid fucking bastard.
the hell was that noise? Dude, I... I don't have the mental capacity to do something like this. Can you guys see how this works? Because, like, I need help, motherfucker. Just take me first. <laughs> I don't know why I have such a hard time with it, man. I, I literally just can't see it. Hope getting out uh, out here wasn't too much of a hassle for you guys. Pete's with us. I need. I'll show you when we get there. It shouldn't be too bad. Now we're gonna have a lot of extra time because I can get in the basement early. Emily, for real, the drive was fine. It would be like nothing for miles except for trees. Then once every hour we'd see cows or something. So this was the first time we got together. At one point, we stopped at one of those roadside bold peanut stands, and we saw the guy ladle some of the hot nut water into his mouth. Pause? No, dude, stop. Look, listen, Tommy, it's not, it's not gonna be like that. It's not... The bathroom fluid pump was literally the poison puzzle. If I can do that, I can do anything. It sounds to me like you saw something that made you feel funny. I should tell a trusted adult right away. <laughs> That's no good. Did a joke just go over my head? I feel like this is one of those Emily Francineisms that not, it's none of us speak the language. Wait, are you you guys don't know this story? So like, you guys remember when the local arts council held that mini con in the spring? I got a booth and was crunching like crazy to churn out little paintings and zines, which also. Uh, while also doing homework poorly, and because I'm a good friend, I offered to help set things up to make her life easier. That I wanted an excuse to hang out and people watch. Emily sends me to Kinko's to pick up a box of freshly printed and very glossy, nice autobiozines. Get them, get back to the con just in time for the show and to get going. I was excited to see how the books came out, because I was nervous about full bleeds and whatnot. And when I open the box, it's not my zines. It was instead fully packed with a variety of public safety and surprisingly Christian pamphlets. Like the kind you get in dare or the ones assholes leave instead of tips. I'm panicking because the print job was expensive and I was hoping to make my money back. Now I have a box of the shit people try and hand to you at the grocery store. And the booth next to us saw the whole thing and wanted to read them. And I'm standing there feeling like the biggest idiot on the planet for ruining my friend's show. Then Emily fans them out on the table, scribbles a little sign that says $1, and those things start selling like hotcakes. Turns out, disaffective stoners really love Dare ef uh, ephemera. Ever since then, little snippets of pamphlet will always just randomly pop into my head. Oh, man. Radon might be right behind you. Huh. Yeah, those pamphlets make obscure safety concerns. Like they're living entities coming to kill you. I remember feeling like I had to lock my doors to keep out Legionnaire's disease. Is that what I have? Francine, you made the best mistake possible. You saved me from having other people see cartoons of me unsuccessfully trying to convince the Krispy Kreme employees to let me have some of the burned up donuts that got stuck in the production line. And having an inexplicable panic attack in the parking lot. No one needs to see that. So thank you again for fucking up so bad. Did they let you have the donuts? They did not. 
So, you really took those old brochures literally, huh? What do you mean? Radon might be right behind you. Sounds like something you would say. You're always warning me about obscure shit that I've never even heard of, like the radon pamphlet that we read downstairs. I just need to... I just realized I need to go find my binoculars. I'll be right back. Okay. Kind of weird. It's messed up that they just don't let you have the donuts. I mean, they're just going to get on the trash anyway. So true, Gary. Based as hell. M, you doing okay in here? Yeah, I just need a second. You said that, yeah, like 14 minutes ago. Well, I told the gang I would bring these binoculars along for the trip, so I've been looking for them, and I don't think they're here. So now I'm... Curled up in a ball trying not to hyperventilate. <laughs> no, you're talking about how she wanted the donuts from Krispy Kreme. The burnt ones that got stuck. Even though they throw them away, she wanted them, but they would not give them to her. <laughs> it's a severe form of pneumonia. Lung inflammation usually caused by infection. It's caused by a bacterium known as Legionella. Ah. Interesting. Yeah, that's, that's what's wrong with me. Yep. That's why I have Legion at P100. Uh, yeah, I kind of figured. I thought you were doing great. I haven't seen you this on in a while. I think 20 minutes of on is all I can do. And I think I can only do this because Francine's wingmanning me. <laughs> it's embarrassing. When we met, I was all Captain Cool, helping Francine keep her shit together. But I'm not like I was back then in school. I don't even recognize that person. You don't have to be perfect for them to like you. You're their friend. They already like you. Do they like me or do they just like whoever that was? Unless you've been quietly struggling with demonic possession or something, whoever that was is still you. Look, I don't want to make you feel any more guilty about it, but I can only talk to your friends about data analysis, uh, analysis for so long. You're fine. You're safe. And they missed you. Yo, Psychongro, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, still no baking stream, imagine. That poster is me for real, big regret. <laughs> oh, man. I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. Oh, you got an ad? I'll wait, I'll wait. Even if they'll never forgive you for not being able to find the binoculars. I appreciate it. Thank you, man. Thank you. Baking stream will come in the subathon. Right, Queen? Come on, I'm making tea. All right. And there's the tea kettle. What, you need a pair of binoculars to find that pair of binoculars? <laughs> Rice, what's up, dude? Oh, man. Yes, yes, we're going to plan a, a baking stream, possibly with my mother, as a goal for the subathon. Jesus, what are you, my mom? Yeah, exactly, Cliff. I just don't want you ruining my table. I eat on that. Yeah, get get your feet off the table, Cliff. What the hell? Emily's the biggest hater? <laughs> no, I think they're the haters. Emily's just misunderstood, man. Cliff, we need to talk about that binocular joke. I'm disappointed in you. <laughs> so what's this telling me? Em, it's okay. Laura turned it off. I know. You're really worried about this, huh? Like you're worried about me ruining your table. Cliff, cool it. I'm just messing around. You guys' apartment's so cute. Seems like a really nice area. Will we even be able to see the shower out here with all the light pollution? Come on, it's not that bad if you go like a mile out of town. Anyway, the moon is just a tiny crescent tonight. Barely any competition for the pear seeds. <laughs> Can I buy some binoculars just to use that line? True. Hell, maybe binoculars would be cool. Getting lost looking for Theseus Major? And Gonad's District? I'm sorry? Is that a real constellation? And all the other stuff the Magic School Bus tried to teach me about? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> ah, hell, I gotta text my neighbor and see if she'll feed my guppies. You didn't take care of that before you left? I'm taking care of it now. Hot nut water guy got me thinking. Same, Gary, same. 
that the hot nut water probably would be pretty good. <laughs> oh, man. Super umami, yeah. Obviously, but a hot nut water guy also got me thinking. I feel like travel becomes way less stressful once you just accept the things in a new place are going to be uncertain and weird instead of trying to control every last detail. Just go with the flow. Like the time we were out in the mountains and decided to follow the sign for a family fun center. Yeah, that got Deanna woken back up, huh? And ended up in a burned down old ghost town with no sign of escape? Totally. The creaking of a distant rocking chair. Unreadable old billboards bleached by the white sun. Bleached white by the sun, sorry. Gotta love that percolating sense of unknowable danger. I feel like I'm hearing a creaking rocking chair in the house when we get back to it. After the homunculus is loose. It might just be the floorboards, though. I don't know. Guys, guess what? I'm changing the subject. What are we all going to get for dinner? I could go for some za. That's my man. That's my guy, Cliff. I think we can do better than za. Not true. Emily, you live here. Where should we get food? Za. Come on. It's a super authentic Italian deli, hey! You know? Sure, sure, yeah, let's just get a za. Alright. In that case, we better get going. If we're gonna get dominoes before they close. Crud, okay. Let me just do the rounds of the apartment real quick before we go. Emily, seriously, are you still worried about your knobs? Yes. <laughs> it's not that unreasonable. An apartment next door to mine was like, I guess, a crash pad for pilots who were coming to the airport down the road. The city shut off our gas and nobody was around to turn the pilot light back on. No pilots for the pilot light. They had one job. I'm taking heat for the binocular joke and you get away with that one? <laughs> right, anyway. With the pilot light turned off, the room just slowly sl swelled with gas. By the time the landlord finally came to shut off the valve, the apartment was so filled with gas that the windows had blown out from the pressure. Oh, had bowed out from the pressure, sorry. I worry about that too, and the thing that bothers me is like, what happens if my lungs are full of gas and it ignites? My lungs getting like all burned up from the inside. Won't the gas need oxygen to ignite? What's in my lungs if not oxygen? Guys, I think we should stop talking about this. Why should we? Listen, gas isn't some magic murder monster coming to kill you. Turn the knob, and it's off. That's it. Pete, help me out here. Is Pete okay? Exactly, thank you. That's just what I... I don't think Pete's okay. <laughs> Look, let me put this to rest for you, Emily. <laughs> Pete's not okay. Oh, man. <laughs> exactly, Ghosty. See? And did we all die in a blazing inferno? No. So you can relax now. Wow, Cliff, you're so right. I'm relaxed. Now, if you'll excuse me for a moment. What's that noise, though? Spooky, dude. All right. I can get into the basement early because I have the code for the keypad, and it is 278. Good to know. Sweet. That's so useful. I don't think it was crying. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> famous last words before dying in comedic timing in a blazing inferno, imagine. Okay, I gotta flip this on. Now we have plenty of time uninterrupted by the homunculus to try to figure this out. Well designed for a slow boy such as myself. Alright. I gotta get these to disregard the stuff on the left completely because these go to the door, the front door. I've already opened these. I need to connect these two positives and negatives to these two positive and negatives, okay? So how do we do that? That's positive to negative. That's not what I want. Jeez. 
I did it. I did it. Holy moly. Okay, that's upstairs. Let's go. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. Run, Emily. Run. Go, go, go. That has to be this red door. The teal cable. And the spotlight, right? Yeah. The spotlight's on. The teal wire leads up to a box with a little spotlight. I guess the power in the living room powers this on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check machine. Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm not going to be able to do this again, dude. I don't know. What does this look like, man? Oh, it's one of these guys. Okay. Winnable, 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 winnable. Don't worry about it. Relax, I'll handle it. We got plenty of time. Also, Tom, don't even start. I know you're typing it right now. Before the homunculus awakens, basically. Because I don't want to have to re... do the power panel thing, because I don't know how I got it, quite frankly. That's not the combo. Do I just need to light these four then? That's gotta be it. Yeah, I just gotta like the orange ones. <gasps> Every time, dude. I got it! The attic that we're not supposed to go in! What's this? Wait, hold on. Another note. Parker, again, I was locked out of the attic today because I didn't solve your little puzzle. So this is how to solve it next time. One, two, three, four. Easy peasy. This has to be locked. What's in the attic? Fire. A broken, exposed wire touching this would be very bad. The joining area. Inspect the board. Blueprints of the weird machine in the middle of the room. Is this thing Nest's accumulator? This is so cool, isn't it? Oh, man. Three cables run power to the accumulator from elsewhere in the house. Two generators and a weird machine. This? Wait. This right here is what you see through the... the hole in the painting. I should follow the cables to find out where the power comes from. So red... Blue and yellow. Okay. 
This is in the basement. Yes, dude. Cool, 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 cool. That's that's this guy right here. 733. Okay. What's in here? It's a box with three lights and a big old mad scientist switch. It looks like it provides power to the accumulator. There are three gnarly cables coming from below. It needs three power sources like the blueprint. Then I can turn on the accumulator and all of this. Okay. I'm enjoying this so much. Another machine here. Sounds like opening this machine made something break downstairs. Okay. There's a creepy hobbit door there. Okay, so this one goes into the machine. Uh, we're just not going to talk about that door. I don't know at all what this could be. Stay! Wait, hold on. Like, I, I'm i reaching here? Nope. I need that to be on four, I think. Is there any numbers that look like the letter Y? No, I don't think that's it. I do hear a creepy rocking chair. It says it broke something downstairs. But also the homunculus is going to be loose. So... It broke something downstairs. What did it break? Not the clock. Hey, gamers. We good? Hey, Megan. Talk to you later. <laughs> what did it break? The window? Not the window. <laughs> yes, yes, wait till you see the homunculus, dude. Maybe it meant in the basement? Or in the garage, who knows. Regardless, I can go down in the basement and open up that, that question mark door. No, Meg, uh, Emily, not Meg. Enter door. This is like a, like a death loop kind of thing and I have to try to figure out how to get out of this house with all these little puzzles. No, oh, Emily, come on. Alright, this guy. The code is... No, where is it? It's this. No, no, no. It's... Fuck. <laughs> Which one was it? Not that guy. Not that guy. Not that guy. Where did I put it? Oh, it's this guy. No. Am I dumb? Did I not get a... A note for it? Man... 733. Three. No, I did. Oh my god, dude. It goes even deeper. Uh... A time card? An old analog clock, and it seems to reflect the current time. You're wondering what happened to the other time clock? It's gone. Minnie's boy took it. Said he was going to experiment with it for some kind of art project. So frustrating. What's up, Kimmy? What's up? 
We all have to line up single file and punch out every day and just because some pompous kid wanted to make some weird combination lock. So do I need to come down here at 10 o'clock? There's a lot going on here, man. Yo, B-Dog, what's up, dude? There's another keypad. Another computer. Minweeper, okay. Tough. Tough! <laughs> Am I predisposed to lose every single... I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. Bertram. Must have been his parents? Dude, no. I, I feel like these are like the perfect amount of challenging. That's all that's in here, right? Okay. Why is this already broken? Is this where he lives? Terrible at Mindweaver, true. Funny story, when I was uh, buzzed that same night, I was waiting for you to go live again. Yeah? Oh, I'm surprised this is open. Shit, he's coming. Applicant, Parker Nest. Application fee and donation paid. Administrator notes, Parker is not unlike a typical applicant to our society and across a range of social descriptors and pedigrees, he does appear to be a model applicant. However, after spending time with him, I'm convinced that his suitability seems to be based on a carefully curated and performed set of behaviors all structured around a simple assumption. He's convinced that he deserves to be here. Oh! <laughs> yeah, it was, it was in the Discord, yeah. Yeah, I would have got smited if I tried to actually stream cars on Twitch. <laughs> Structure on a simple assumption. He's convinced he's supposed to be here. Multiple occasions where I attempted to reach out to him, he instead jumped to prove his knowledge of our organization was greater than my own. How could anyone be so obsequious and so arrogant at the same time? Application status denied. This is the same. Spooky, dude. Spooky. Yeah, if you do exclamation point Discord. There's like a whole thing down here. Gary, I found your jacket in the little blue room today. I put it in my locker. You can have it back next time I see my Gary? Please don't leave things in the steam tunnels again. At least not the little blue room. You know, I hate the little blue room. What the heck, dude? It just goes deeper and deeper, man. I guess this is a map, but it looks like a maze or a dungeon. How big is this place? Shit, did I do that? Dude? Oh! That killed me! <laughs> ah, well. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, man, it is just about 10 o'clock, though, man. I don't really want to stop, dude. My my favorite thing to eat ever, and don't say factor, <laughs> I would definitely say I'm a pizza guy. You know what I'm saying? What's that? Awesome. 
sure that's true. <laughs> oh no, she's gonna be scary. She's gonna be face all blood. She's the homunculus! I don't know who the homunculus is, but dude, this is like this is freaky, man. This is really well done. Dude, I found so much stuff. I think I need to get down there when that hits 1030, maybe. Especially because I can go down there early. Let me do one more cycle here. Especially because we... It's open already. Oh. Okay. No, Emily. Come on. This is what? Seven, uh... Not that one. It's... How do I keep losing it, man? 733, <laughs> three, I think it is. How do I keep losing it? It's this guy right here. No, it's not. That's bait. That's what it is. It's this one. 733. Three. Okay. Uh... This is panel number three. And there's no keypad to this one. It's an elevator. Spooky, dude. The way I went, right? The little blue room. Look, listen. No, look, listen. Go, go, Emily. Go, 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 go. No! Oh! Man. I'm going to try that one more time. And if I, if I don't make it... Here's Pete again. Don't the other kids seem like strangers to you? Huh? There's something kind of naive about them. And a quaint in a way, but... It's so unlike how I remember them. <laughs> Price, those dank tunnels underneath the house. Pretty intimidating, huh? I don't know how to get through them, but the map must have something to do with it. Didn't Gary used to work in a place like that back in college? Take care of yourself if you can. I don't think Emily's fast enough to run through that. So the map, huh? The map. But what does this even mean? <laughs> is this like you are here? Yeah, this is the red tunnel. Okay, that makes sense. One more shot. All the time in the world here. This is such a well-designed game, man. Like, creepy tunnel. I want to look at the creepy tunnel, though. Can I... Where's the creepy tunnel? Yeah, I see the creepy tunnel. There it is. Okay. That's new.
Wait, I've already been in here. Reminds me a little bit of Corpse Party? I've never heard of that. It's this door. Corpse party. I made it. No, man. <laughs> oh, nuts, dude. All right, I'm going to call it there for tonight. We've, uh, Cliff sure was giving you a hard time last night, huh? You mean when he was ribbing me about burning to death? I think he thought he was helping. Tough love. He could have at least apologized. Pretty sure he was waiting for me to thank him. Anyway, thanks for sticking up for me. I really appreciate it. Of course, you would have done the same for me. Remember that time that we were trapped in Brockridge Mall waiting for the storm to pass? Ha, huh, yeah. Actually, I was just thinking about it. Maybe because of the torrential rain. The parking lot was shaped like a bowl, with the mall at the center. The sewers clogged, and the whole thing flooded. The we uh, they wheeled in a generator to keep the lights on while they waited for the city to bring in a pump to drain all the water. It took so long, we ended up having to stay the night. I am actually going to order McDonald's right now. <laughs> I'm craving a double cheeseburger, bro. <laughs> Corpse party. Is that... Correct me if I'm wrong. Is that like a... Is that like an anime... Thing, I think. I don't know. Part of the Discord? Well, welcome, buddy. Welcome, welcome. I remember trying to sleep with the sound of the generator as if it wasn't already keeping me awake. Virginity rocks. <laughs> so true, dude. Do, uh, do what you do. You know what I'm saying? What do we got here? Hold on. I want to make sure I'm getting the right, the right stuff. Oh, yeah. Reorder. That's for pickup, though. That's not what I want. Make sure it comes here and not to school. That would be embarrassing. Yeah, for a while you seemed really stressed. You were sure that the dome would break and the water would pour in. Like it was the end of the world or something. You weren't scared? I didn't love it, but I think I liked getting closed off like that. We don't take L's? Look, listen. Buddy, I, uh... <clears throat> You, you know, you do what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? I want a McDonald's Sprite, too, by the way. Always nice to have fewer variables, you know? Being able to focus on one big, scary unknown kind of distracts from all the other little ones. <laughs> oh, man, yeah, imagine, Rice. Look, listen. Look, listen. No, the, the the 2012 end of the world orgy was, was its own thing, all right? <laughs> I tried to think about it like one of those CD-ROM puzzle games we used to play. Let me just make sure that I put in my sprite here. The McDonald's sprite. Baby. That's really smart. I almost let all the, world, uh, all the worry get to me, but you were so cheerful and so brave that I ended up having a good time. Even though, you know, we could have drowned. Oh, whoa, they're dead. Oh no, Emily, are you okay? Yeah, I, I'm just wondering what would have happened if it kept flooding, if the city hadn't been able to stop it. Like, could we have done anything about it or would we just be out of luck? Sorry, I can't do two things at the same time. <laughs> yep, Apple pay me. Sweet. Why are you all uh, suddenly so worried about something that already happens? Dude, it's so good. They they definitely put some sauce in there, bro. 28 minutes? Oh my god, I'm gonna starve. Sure, things went fine that night, but what about next time? You mean, next time we're trapped in a flooding mall? Like that? Yeah? No, it'll probably be here sooner. McDonald's is literally right down the road. 
This is, like, way more in-depth than I thought it was going to be. I thought this was going to be, like, a silly little, like, one-off kind of thing. But, like, I'm surprised the house is just going deeper and deeper. Yeah, now it says 1016. Yeah. <laughs> wow, dude. This is such a fantastic little game, dude.